Lawyers say a local doctor falsely diagnosed hundreds of Metro Detroit children with epilepsy, and they say he did it for the money. Many families are now suing, but it's taken 11 years to finally have their day in court. Seven investigator Heather Catalo joins us right now with a look at what she has uncovered. Heather? Well, Dave and Carolyn, imagine forcing your child to stay awake all night so they could be sleep deprived on purpose for a medical test. Of course, you would do that if your child was ill and you needed answers. But lawyers say hundreds of local kids were forced to endure those grueling medical tests multiple times when they never actually needed them. And then they say they were medicated for a seizure disorder they never actually had. It's hard to understand why this man is smiling as he leaves Wayne County Circuit Court. Outside the courtroom, Dr. Yasser Awad does his best to avoid our cameras. But inside, he's in the midst of the second of 267 lawsuits that have been filed against him. Daydreaming and staring off is not the same thing as seizures, is it? It could be. It shouldn't be this hard to go see a doctor. It shouldn't be this hard to get up in the morning. Mariah Martinez was just nine years old when she says she was referred to Dr. Awad for headaches. At the time, he worked at Oakwood Hospital, which is now owned by Beaumont. Martinez says Dr. Awad wanted her to undergo an electroencephalogram, or EEG, and then told her she had epilepsy. Martinez says she was confused because she'd never had a seizure. I didn't know what epilepsy was at that point. Were you scared? Yeah. Being told you're abnormal, or at least the tests are abnormal, means I'm not like everyone else. And at that age, you just want to fit in. Martinez says the anti-seizure medication not only made her drowsy, it made her headaches worse. I kind of withdrew with myself, didn't want to be around people. It wasn't until Dr. Awad suddenly left his practice four years later and she saw a new doctor that Martinez says she found out she never had epilepsy. I was very angry at first, very angry. What have you lost? I feel like a piece of my childhood. All the time I could have been learning to do things, playing with the other kids. I could have had friends, I could have joined a sport. You never know. Martinez was not alone. I think it's despicable and deplorable that he would do this to any innocent child, let alone to several hundred. Medical malpractice lawyer Brian McKean and a team of attorneys are suing Dr. Awad and the hospital. And when you look at all the evidence in this case, Heather, the conclusion is inescapable that this was done intentionally. McKean alleges Dr. Awad ran an EEG mill. The more tests he ran on the kids, the more money he made. As a result of the bonus, you made hundreds of thousands of dollars, didn't you? Okay, I was entitled to. McKean says one of Awad's pediatric neurology colleagues even blew the whistle on him to Oakwood administrators back in 2003. She told them he's doing unnecessary EEGs, he's diagnosing kids with epilepsy that don't have it, and he's giving kids unnecessary drugs, and they didn't do anything about it. They swept it under the rug. McKean says Dr. Awad also falsely diagnosed Martinez's sister with epilepsy. And in a different family, he's accused of misdiagnosing multiple siblings. None of them had it. Four kids. Four kids. Medical licensing records obtained by the seven investigators show that since 2010, the state has been accusing Dr. Awad of violating the public health code for wrongly diagnosing kids with epilepsy. The state complaints use words like negligence and incompetence to describe Dr. Awad, yet he still held on to his medical license. In 2012, he was put on probation and had to pay a $10,000 fine. That wasn't enough. They should have suspended his license. He should never be allowed the opportunity to practice medicine and violate the trust of any other patient. A jury awarded Mariah Martinez $3 million for her case against Dr. Awad. Another of the 267 trials is currently underway. I don't know if I'll ever be 100%. I did reach out to Beaumont as well as to their lawyer. They can't comment on this due to the pending litigation and patient privacy laws. A spokesman also told us they have not had a relationship with Dr. Awad since 2017. We have their full statement at WXYZ.
Oh my goodness. So you mentioned the state was investigating. Is the, still, is the state still investigating this doctor? Yes, the attorney general has filed another administrative complaint against his license. The hearing was supposed to be held next week, but it's now been delayed until March. But certainly a lot of questions about why this has taken so long for some action against his license. So we'll stay on top of it. And that. you just feel for all of the families and those kids. Absolutely. You know, yeah. Similarities to... Uh, the FADA case as it's well, it seems. It's been compared to that, yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good More work to come. as always, Heather. Heather. Thank, you. Mm, thank you.